This, this area is uh, great for mid to upper 80 type bucks. Uh, occasionally they'll sprinkle in a 90, but you know, those are, those are hard to come by. Well, they've always been hard to come by. I mean, when I first started getting into antelope hunting, 1969, there were only two or three antelope that ever reached that 90 mark in the book. It takes ideal conditions to grow record book pronghorn antelope. And this part of central New Mexico has all the right elements. Genetics matter. And there seems to be a giant gene shared by the antelope of this area. But maybe more important are ideal climate, feed, and perhaps most important of all, pronghorns having the years to grow to full mature size. Something they can find here due to the selective hunting on the ranches they inhabit. The pronghorns also a marvel of evolutionary design. Over tens of millions of years on this continent, the pronghorns developed his special eyes, lungs, heart, and legs that make him such a challenge to stock. Well, we spend a lot of time scouting these antelope all summer. We spend a lot of time in a vehicle scouting with spotting scopes uh, to narrow down what we need to do during the hunt. Because during the hunt, you, you know, they're, they're going to run from a vehicle if you're close. So you have to spend a lot of time on foot, stalking, spotting stock. So you need to size up what you're going to go after or what you have on your ranch prior to getting there. Tony, there's a really good buck out there with those three does. Yep. Always I, one, one of the few bucks with does out here. We ought to try to get a little closer on that buck. I think I'd really like to take a good look at him. Yep. Try to cut the distance in half, take a really good look at him. Yep, they're, they're bedding down too. Might be able to get right up on them. Let's do that. Antelope, they're always antsy. They're always on the move. Typically, they're, they're tough to get close to. They'll have a cushion of you know, sometimes four to eight hundred yards that you can get to, and past that, they're gonna they're gonna leave the country and in a hurry. See the tops of the horns. Let's move on. Right, we gotta get there. Let's go to that bush. Okay, we gotta hurry. He's right gonna come up on the ridge. Get, get ready to shoot. About 260, Steve. Okay. Oh. He's, oh, he's going to take off. Another little buck's come in with him. Dang it. Oh, there they go. Oh, herd's going. Does everything. Come on, stop. Nope, not going to. Over the hill. He just went over. Well, we'll just have to see if we can't get back on him later. Maybe he'll that slow was, down. Dang it, that was a great buck. That was an awesome buck. I see one doe. That's all I see way out there now. He's probably chasing her. And then to, to get it blown by another little buck because of the rut, now yeah, that stinks, but you know. That makes those does nervous. I can't, man, we were right there. <laughs> we were this close. We were this close. A couple seconds more and we had him. We had him. It's a nice well, mid-80s buck, beautiful buck. Yeah, I don't know if we can get on him again. I guess what we need to do is... Well, let's know. go back probably to the truck and see if we can't give them a few minutes to settle down. They're out there over a mile and uh, maybe we can loop around on them and get in the ravine and get on them. <laughs> I hope that's not going to be the way things go here, but as part of hunting, we're gonna get back out there and really try to tear it up. And uh, I know Tony's already spotted another big buck off in the distance. We're hoping that's one of those three that I'm looking for. Uh, we drove around and found one buck that we'd really, really wanted to look at. Yeah, 
that's nice. That's a pretty nice buck. Can't tell what his left side's doing. His right side looks awesome. You gotta get a little closer. We do spend a lot of time on foot because if a buck's three quarters of a mile to a mile away, you have to get out there and see, size him up and see how big he is. And you can't always do that from the road. You've got to get out there and work. I about died. I couldn't believe it because this is a really a trophy buck. During the day before that night fighting another buck, he ended up breaking off about three inches of his left horn. Well, I have just made a decision. I hope it's one that I don't regret. I have just walked away from a sure record book buck. He's at least 17 on his good horn, but his other horn is broken, so I'm a little bit if He's got good weight, he's got good prongs. He's right here, but we're going to, uh, we're going to see if we can't find something else. I know there's some really good bucks out here. This is the land of giants, and if you kill the first really good one, you can't really, really kill a monster, so I'm going to see what I can do. Hope I don't regret this. Drove around, looked, glass. I found this other buck, and I thought, okay, this is going to really work. Got out there. From a distance, we saw him probably, I don't know, three quarters of a mile away. Walked up on him, and he had everything. What do you think about him, Tony? Are you kidding me? He's awesome. Pretty nice buck. I'm not sure if he's big enough. I'm gonna try to get another 30, 40 yards. For some reason, I don't know, I just decided I was gonna pass. I mean, I knew he was a legitimate record book buck, but we've seen a couple others that I had not seen uh, during when the season was on. So we, I turned around and I was hoping I didn't make one of the biggest mistakes or blunders of my life. And, I walked away from that buck. I keep passing and passing. <laughs> There's a pot of gold at the, at the end of this rainbow. We'll, we'll find him. We'll find him. We gotta keep looking. We walked and we walked and we walked and all of a sudden, here comes another buck into his territory. I thought we were gonna be had, but Tony said, just stay behind me. Let's just walk single file. Let's see what we can do. Kind of go like that. We walked and we walked and we walked and all of a sudden here comes another buck into his territory. They dropped over a little bit of a crest of the ridge. We kind of beelined up there. We got to a point where we could see these does were getting real skittish. I think Tony probably what we ought to do is probably walk up there, try to get in between those sick trees because you know we last saw him right over there. Yeah, I think he's right over the hill. So if we can just sneak up to that kind of stuff, kind of just kind of work our way up. He's over. See if we can see how far they are. What we got going on? Okay. I think that's about the best plan we got. It's David right there. Right there. Right there. As he gets set up. It looks like he's coming to us. He sees us, and the does are just standing there. He's coming to us. Got him at 241 yards. Can you see him yet? Yep, there he is. He's coming in. He's coming in. He's coming to the white. Anytime you're ready, Steve, he's coming up. He's about 220 right now. He's going away. Okay, he's down. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, yeah. Nice. Man, bug. Is that... Let's go check him out. <laughs> check out that Whoa. crack. <laughs> awesome. Oh, baby. Woo. Oh, baby. Wow. No ground shriek on this one. Wow. Oh, man. Beauty, Steve, beauty. When we were looking at him, I knew he had something going on there, but man, I had no idea. Probably uh, six and maybe a little better on that prong. This one's a little smaller. He's got average to good weight. Probably good in here. He'll probably book. He's gonna come in probably 82 to 84, somewhere in there, I think. Oh yeah. But I think he'll sneak in the minimum Boone and Crockett for sure. 
not only did I have a great trophy at my feet, but I also had a great memory that's going to make a wonderful sculpture. I tell you, Tony really knows his stuff. Well, it isn't like I'm hunting with a beginner or a rookie. It's, uh, it's always been fun hunting with Steve. He can take a joke and uh, he knows what a big buck looks like when I show him one. Well, we got a lot of stuff to get done, so we better go take care of it. Sounds good. Thank you. Welcome.